The summer can be a hard season to dress for, so to make it easier, in today's video I'm going to share some simple do's and don'ts for classy summer style. Shorts for some of us are a summer wardrobe essential, but they can go really wrong. If you're going to wear shorts, don't forget about the back view. Pocket placement, just like on a pair of jeans, is really important. As a general rule, pockets should be centered on the fullest part of the bottom. If you want to look more curvy, pockets that angle create those curves. If you want to make your behind look a little bit smaller, pockets closer together are far more flattering. But if you have a smaller bottom and you want it to look a little bit fuller, wider pockets are best. Don't wear saggy shorts that look like you've kind of pooped your pants. Or worse still, shorts that are so short that reveal your bottom cheeks out the bottom of your shorts. It's really not a good look. Do find your ideal inseam length. It's different for everyone and depends on your height, shape, leg length and body length. When you find the right inseam length for you, buying shorts will be so much easier. On a hot, humid day, wearing clothing in the wrong fabrics can be very, very uncomfortable. So ditch the synthetic fabrics. Do wear cotton. It's one of the best fabrics to wear in the summer. It's soft, lightweight, breathable, and it soaks up the sweat, allowing heat to escape the body so you can stay cool. And it also looks very nice. Do wear linen. It's also very lightweight and is loosely woven, which allows heat to escape from the body. The downside though of linen, it does crease very easily. Do wear chambray. Sometimes this is described as imitation denim. It is a breathable material and absorbs moisture just like cotton and it can look lovely in the summer. Do wear merino wool. Now I know it's not the first material that comes to mind for summer weather, but it has absorbent fibres which helps regulate the body temperature and keeps you cool. Not everybody feels comfortable or confident wearing strappy or sleeveless tops, so if it's not too hot where you live, then layer up in breathable fabrics. Do wear white or patterned linen or cotton shirts. They work wonderfully well over all your summer pieces like trousers, shorts and skirts but don't wear widely oversized pieces underneath if you're trying to look slimmer. They have the opposite effect. Do wear lightweight cardigans. They are available and they look great over summer dresses and jeans. Or a sleeveless cardigan is a nice layering piece if you don't mind showing your arms but want some coverage at the bottom. But don't forget the proportions of the cardigan. Different lengths look better on different body shapes and some styles will be more flattering on some than others. Do try a lightweight trench coat. This one I'm wearing is from Lily Silk and it's silk. Now silk doesn't absorb sweat very well so it can leave noticeable stains but as it's a layering piece it can look great layered. If it's extremely hot then there's certain fabrics you've just got to avoid like leather and PVC. Denim is actually a breathable material made from tightly woven cotton and it absorbs sweat just like cotton so don't always disregard it in the summer. Thankfully the skinny jean is out of style now so do wear a looser fitting straight leg jean or a slim leg jean. Far more comfortable and cooler to wear on a warm day. Denim does tend to be a heavier fabric so lots of people avoid it. So do consider these other fabrics like seersucker, which does get overlooked a little bit. It is a member of the cotton family. It's lightly plucked and it's very lightweight. There's jersey, although I'm not a huge fan, but it is good in the heat and it doesn't crease like linen. Whatever season it is, getting the underwear right is key to looking put together. But in the summertime, it can be a little bit trickier because the fabrics and the straps are all thinner. Do invest in nude or skin toned underwear. Nude underwear isn't the most attractive looking underwear, but it's essential for those thin cotton shirts and tops. Don't wear dark colors underneath light color clothes. I know it sounds obvious, but I see it so often. It really doesn't look classy. Do invest in a nude slip. Lots of summer dresses are very see-through. A nude slip will save your modesty. Don't forget to check if a dress is transparent outside in daylight. Sometimes dresses aren't obviously transparent until you stand in a certain light and then all of a sudden they become see-through. Do sort out those bra straps. Bra clips are perfect for adjusting straps for different tops in the summertime or invest in a bra where the straps can be adjusted to suit a multitude of different tops. 
don't wear the wrong size bra or knickers underneath summer clothing in the hope that it won't notice. It will show and ruin a beautiful outfit. One of the realities of summertime is that our feet can swell up, which is never a nice feeling. Do try open toed shoes if you don't mind showing your toes. But if you want to look classy, don't wear shoes if your feet aren't looking their best. Chipped nail varnish looks just as scruffy on toenails as it does on fingernails. Do make sure your summer shoes fit and they don't overhang or, or that your heels slip over the back. Do wear comfortable shoes, it will prevent swelling. And don't wear shoes that are too tight, especially if they're strappy shoes and your feet are all pudging out of them. Don't forget comfort is always key. Do make sure your shoes are comfortable. And where possible, if you do suffer from foot swelling in the summer, wear shoes made of breathable materials like canvas or cotton. Like lots of women, I love jewellery, but wearing too much in the summertime can be very uncomfortable because they can stick to your skin in the heat. Our fingers can swell in the heat just like our feet, so don't overload or overstack. Wear less. Just one ring or necklace or bracelet will be more comfortable, but just as effective. Do try and wear quality jewellery in the summer. Base metal throwaway jewellery will fade and discolour more in the warm weather and the longer contact it has with your skin when it's hot and sweaty will also dull lower quality jewellery and then it can lead to irritation. Loose fitting clothing is best to wear in the summertime but it still needs to fit well. Do look for loose clothing that has shape, is well cut and skims the body rather than clings and don't go too big or baggy or oversized, unless that's the look you're going for, but it does tend to make us look bigger and it just hangs like a sack. Do check the armholes of tops, sometimes they're very big and gapy and show your underwear. Tops can be loose fitting without being exposing. Wide leg trousers look great in the summertime, but don't wear trousers that drag on the floor. It's never a good look, whatever the season, if they're dragging on a filthy floor. Hats and sunscreen, of course, are a must have in the summer. Don't burn your skin no matter what, we all know the risks. So do wear lots and lots of sunscreen to protect your skin so you can look and feel fabulous all summer long.